Hello, I'm Matt Reynolds, editor of Packaging World Magazine, here with another edition of Technology Minute. Today we're going to be talking with Moldrite Plastics about an open bottom flush wall jar. We'll be speaking with Don Nowicki, Vice President of Business Development and Marketing, and also Jason Stull, Vice President of Direct Sales. Jason, tell me about Moldrite Plastics and the types of packaging they supply. MRP is a single source supplier of a broad range of plastic packaging, including closures and jars. What sets Moldrite apart from other suppliers is our outstanding innovation as well as an unmatched flexibility and responsiveness. We support many market segments from household chemicals to foods, pharmaceuticals, and nutraceuticals to cannabis, personal care, health and beauty, and automotive. Among the company's complete line of products, including a vast CT closure selection, jars, vials, fitments, disc tops, lip tops, twist open, strap caps, and child resistant closures. Can you tell me about this new line of jars that Moldrite Plastics recently launched? Moldrite identified a need within the cannabis market to develop jars that were both compliant with packaging regulations for the industry and also provided an appropriate storage environment for cannabis products. Cannabis packaging is controlled by various regulatory bodies within legalized states and standards vary from state to state, which makes it very difficult to really find a compliant package. However, some commonly required features include child resistance, the packaging cannot appeal to children, and they're usually required to be opaque, resealable, non-toxic, and even tamper evident. Additionally, the various regulating bodies have applied very strict requirements on the labeling. They most often include more information than what could even fit on a standard-sized jar. From symbols and warning statements to details about the product and the potency, you can see here on the screen that the compliance requires sharing a great deal of information with consumers. The new open bottom flush wall jars offer a premium compliant package with ample space for all of this required information. What about CBD? Is there an application for this segment of the market as well? While the regulations are a bit different for CBD products, they can also benefit from this type of packaging. More and more major retailers are beginning to offer CBD products right in their stores, such as Kroger, CVS, Rite Aid, and even Walgreens. In fact, the PMMI Business Intelligence Study on the nutraceutical market indicates that CBD is being credited with growing the nutraceuticals category. According to that report, the U.S. retail market for CBD alone is projected to grow from an estimated $2 billion last year to $16 billion by 2025. However, many consumers are still confused about potential healing effects of CBD and associate it with the use of recreational cannabis. Having additional labeling space can be helpful to communicate the benefits of CBD and differentiate it from medicinal and recreational cannabis, which contains THC. It seems like this could also be a good packaging solution for other industries. Are these jars available for other markets besides cannabis and CBD? Absolutely. Gummy vitamins particularly would be a great way to utilize this packaging. The jars come in wider diameter sizes, including 53 millimeter, 63 millimeter, and 70 millimeter, which makes it easier to dispense vitamins and supplements. Additionally, child resistant enclosures, which are often required for gummy vitamin packages, sit flush against the wall of the jars, providing a unique look on the shelf. And because they are resealable, the gummy product stays fresh from the first dose until the last. Does the open bottom design feature have any implications on the filling line? The open bottom design does not require any more adjustment than any other jar would. In fact, because of this feature, the jars are stackable and can help to gain efficiencies in the filling line. Additionally, these jars, along with all Moldrite products, come with the support of our tactical services team. From form, fit, function analysis, and line trial support, to on-site and remote filling line troubleshooting and capital analysis, the tactical services team at MRP is ready and available to ensure that packaging projects run smoothly. Lately, there seems to be a lot of focus on sustainability and alternative materials. What resins can these jars be molded with? As a member of the Association of Plastic Recyclers, we at Moldrite share in the APR's mission to promote the development of the plastics recycling industry and strive to design and manufacture our jars and closures in accordance with the APR Design Guide for Plastics Recyclability. We're committed to supporting efforts to ensure that plastic packaging is designed to be compatible with today's recycling processes, is recyclable in practice and at scale, 
and that packaging will contain recycled content. In support of this effort to reduce plastic waste, these new jars, along with many of our products, can be molded in polypropylene resin, which is a recyclable material, and offers a premium look competitive with PET pricing. Additionally, we can mold these jars with PCR resin in varying amounts. And we are in the process of testing other alternative materials, including hemp and other additives that help to speed the process of biodegradation. How can a customer determine if these new jars are the right option for their product? Well, to get started, contact one of the packaging experts at Mold Right Plastics or visit mrpcap.com and we can evaluate what options are best for your package.